Well, well, welcome to East Van Soul Club Radio, the Jardines. Hello, thank you for having us. So uh, we just heard a track from you guys, and it was called Someone Stolen Tuesday. Uh, Sherelle, uh, you and I have known each other for many a years. When we were very young. Well, younger <laughs> at least. <laughs> Uh, I think 2001 when we first uh, uh, collaborated on a few things. Uh, it's been a while. So tell us about some of the things that you've been up to, you know, in condensed. But let's, you know, focus on, you know, where we're at now. So uh, well, condensed from that, I think I was releasing my third solo album at yes. that time. Went and put another one out. Um, had traffic in 2004, and then um, decided uh, that I wanted to do another album. And right. so I actually asked AJ, my daughter, if she would like to do an album with me. And I was so surprised that she said yes. Wow. So, and that was in 2010. So when, when did you get an inkling that AJ was going to be kind of, you know, following in your footsteps, so to speak? Probably from the time she was a baby and she would be in a bassinet on the stage when I was doing my solo shows, sitting there going, Mama! <laughs> and so it, it's, it's been put It's in been ingrained an in age. her, yes, exactly. Right. She just, she showed a lot of musical love early on right. and, and learning. She played the piano for years and started doing a little bit of songwriting when she was quite young. And so I, I've, I've been grooming her for a long time. <laughs> Good. Well, that's what happens in musical families, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's, that's, I mean you, you, my girlfriend in England who's doing exactly the same with his daughters, he, he teaches guitar and, you know, they're all, you know, the ones, not pushed too much, but they want, you know, the ones that want to go into music, you know, you mm -hmm. give them the support that they want, the, Exactly, right? yeah. So, AJ, welcome. Thank uh, you. You are uh, uh, Sherelle's daughter. Yes. So, but you, you have got into music in your own way with the help of your mother what 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 was was the was there a particular point where you said this is going to be for me or has it just always been there for you uh for me it was in my senior year of high school when i joined choir um there was just something that ignited within me when i was doing my solos or different group pieces and from that moment I knew I wanted to follow music, and so I borrowed my mom's guitar when I went to UVic right. for my first year of university, <laughs> yeah, the ovation, yes. and I started teaching myself to play guitar. Um, I would go online and look up different country songs, and I would just teach myself the fingerings and the chords, right. and I would just play, and then I started writing, which I wrote one of the songs on the CDs uh, called Waste On You. Right. I actually wrote that in my tiny little cubicle dorm. <laughs> wow. Okay, so uh, you're both very musical. Uh, Cheryl, you've been on the scene in Richmond, uh, particularly Steveson, yeah. uh, for quite a few years. How is that scene in Richmond? Uh, is it in your time of being involved in it? How, has it changed? Has it got better? Has it got tougher? What, what's the deal? It's a hard city. There's not a real downtown core. And so I actually had created a, a musical event called Musical Expressions. Right. So it was a monthly showcase that I did for seven years. And um, it was just one of those things where at the end of it, I didn't really see um, it growing any further. It's it's hard to get people out. I'm not sure right. what it is about Richmond, but um, you know, it's just, it's got a, a semi music scene, but Vancouver definitely is mm -hmm. a lot bigger. Well, you know, I, I'm being in Vancouver and struggling in Vancouver myself. <laughs> There's always yeah. somewhere better. I just yeah. don't know where it is. I know. <laughs> There's no place better. It's just you have to kind of create your own, I it think. It is. It's yeah. true. It's true. And uh, so, okay, so le let's, which one's the first one? This one's the first one? That is the first, the first one. one. So we've got In My Hand right there. Yes, Someone Stolen Someone Tuesday. Someone Stolen Tuesday. So tell us about this, how it came about, where you recorded it, and... Uh, yeah, right. well, we recorded it at the Sound Lounge. Uh, actually, both CDs we did, but we mastered it and mixed it out, outside of, of that. We uh, we worked with Sheldon Zaharko, who's right. uh, an amazing engineer, so he mixed the album, and then uh, Sunsei actually mastered it. So, done in Vancouver with all our band members. It's just a beautiful piece and of And recorded music. traditionally in a studio in setting? In a studio, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. Layered. Uh, there's no live you know, tracks. It's all, you know... Multi-tracked, right? Multi-tracked, yeah. 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 And uh, AJ, how did you find your first experience in a studio? It was awesome. <laughs> That's back I in 2010 it. for the right. first yeah, 2010. album. Yeah, 2010. So our first album was actually this one. 
Oh, okay. Yes. Right here. The Jardines. And we couldn't come up with a title, so we thought, why not just call it The <laughs> just Jardines? The Jardines. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for me, it was a really good experience. I'd always wanted to hear my voice being recorded, and so I was very grateful to not only have a mom that I can play music with, but someone who could support and help me learn the right. different ways of s- recording, and I have dabbled with engineering myself. Right. Well, it is a pretty steep learning curve. Yeah, and expensive. There's there's always (laughs) things, yes, and there's always new things coming around Mm -hmm. as the uh, longer McQuaid uh, uh, gear (laughs) issue 2013. Oh, I can't even look at that book. I just... It's uh, a scary thing. I want to, though. Yes. So the cool thing about this first album is that um, we actually got to release it at the 2010 Olympics at the Oval. So that was a really amazing... So you were quite involved with that? Um, You know, I had musical expressions at my own stage at the Ozone, Good. which is really nice. So I did a little, uh, it was a one night kind well, of show. I've heard mixed receptions from various locations because we, you know, we, there was the uh, the uh, events going on in Richmond. Mm-hmm. Uh, some of the Vancouver bands did the, the Vancouver events. Uh, overall, do you, uh, do you find that the Olympics were beneficial in any way? Or is is there, a, has there been a positive legacy from playing? Or was it just like a come, gone, and that was it? <sighs> You know, it's one of those things where I think it really brought the community together. And, you know, now that it's gone, um, it's left a little bit of a legacy in that people still talk about it and what a wonderful time. And, you know, the community was able to come out and support. But, um, you know, I haven't seen any money (laughs) really from, you know, for the the artists or whatever. There's supposed to be so much money in the arts community, you know, generated from that. I haven't really seen where that money has gone. I think that's the general gist that most people have Mm -hmm. have said. So uh, let's have a listen to a track. Uh, We have got uh, two CDs to choose from. So let's have a listen. We've got this track. uh, We already listened to Someone Stolen Tuesday, which is a title track. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, Tell me about this track coming up called Torn. Torn. I wrote it myself. My mom was gracious enough to let me have three (laughs) songs that she thought were ready to be recorded and put onto the CD. So uh, I always invite listeners to interpret their own Meaning okay. of well, the song? Well, you tell us your meaning. And so we'll <laughs> My meaning. <laughs> My meaning. Oh, I could go on and on. Well, but essentially, yeah. it, it is about being torn in a situation where perhaps you don't necessarily want to be in. I wrote it about a friend who wasn't, at the time, in a very healthy relationship. Right. And so I find a lot of my songwriting, I use people around me because I, I'm very go grateful to have go for a good know. life. And so I always use... My people watching skills. <laughs> All right, well, let's have a listen. This is uh, the Jardines and a track by the name of Torn. <laughs> 